If you're studying ethical hacking, one of the things you'll know is that everything starts with reconnaissance, getting that understanding of what is running on the network. As some of you may know, I have a military background. This one. And you can't go after a target unless you know what target it is you want to go after. You have to identify that target and then figure out where it's going to be and when it's going to be there and how well protected it is when you get to it. And the same rules apply in cybersecurity. You figure out the target, you scan it, you understand what's going on on that machine, and then you attack. And one of the first stages of the attack is the initial foothold. More often than not, it's a low privileged user account on the victim machine. And that's what I'm gonna show you right now. So on this machine, I have Metasploitable 2 up and running. And here is my Kali virtual machine. I'm on the desktop, as you can see here. And what I'll do first is I'll show you the victim machine's website. Open up Firefox and we'll give it the IP address of the machine. Here it is. So this is the IP address of Metasploitable 2, and on port 80, we have this web server running, and this is just a basic website. If we right click and view page source, you can see it's just an HTML page. And at the bottom, you can see this web dev. Bit of a history lesson, WebDAB was invented in the late 90s and it's web distributed authoring and versioning. And WebDAB is basically an extension of HTTP. It gives you more options than just get and post and a few others. Most people have no real use for something like WebDAV these days, unless you're a real sort of geeky sysadmin kind of person, there's better tools to use than WebDAV. But what we need to know is that WebDAV will allow us to write to the web server and if that's unsecured, it's potentially dangerous. And it's how we're gonna get a foothold. I'm just gonna minimize this. There's a tool built into Kali called Cadaver. And if I just type Cadaver, you see we get this. We can exit and we can type man cadaver and we can get the man page for it. These man pages, they're manual pages like help files. This is the long version of it. Sometimes you can do dash H after a command, and you get a short version of it like this. Two different types of help. One is long, the man one, and the other one is short, the dash H. So let's see if we can write to this web server. I'm gonna make a text file. Press escape to go back into command mode, and a little trick is shift ZZ to write and exit. So as you can see now, we have this gary.txt on the desktop, simple text file. Let's put it on up. Let's type cadaver and then provide HTTP 172.16.111.131. If you set up Metasploitable 2 on your machine, this IP address is likely to be different. So don't just copy exactly what I'm doing. You need the IP address of the victim machine. And we wanna go into slash dav because that is what was in here, slash dav. And here we are. Now let's put gary.txt. It says it's complete. And if we come back here and just refresh, you can see we have gary.txt. Pretty neat, but that isn't a foothold. That's not how we're gonna hack. We need a shell. I'm just gonna move into the second workspace, open up a new terminal, and let me show you how to find shells. You have shells on your VM. And if we type locate web shell, we get this error. Not off to a great start. The locate command searches your entire disk for that string. So we're trying to find web shell and it's not working. And it's not working because the database hasn't been initialized. Here's how you fix it. Now we get permission denied. It's a very simple fix. Type sudo bang bang. That turns you into root and the bang bang, the exclamation marks, that means execute the last command again. If I hit enter, it'll say, what's the password? And we just give it Kali, super strong password. And that's it done. Now if we type locate web shell, you see we get all of these results. And what I want is this PHP reverse shell. 
This is written by the Pentest Monkey. You'll come to know and love this. Let's just copy that to the desktop. The dot means to the current place that you are. So I'm on the desktop, as you can see from here. So if I put the dot, it'll be on the desktop. And there it is. So now we need to look at what's inside this because it isn't configured to work right out of the box. This stuff at the top is all comments, the two forward slashes, all that stuff is just commented out. It won't actually do anything. You could change this to be anything you want and it is irrelevant. And if we scroll down, this is the start of the PHP code. And you can see here, there's a comment, change this and change this. We need to put our IP address and the port that we want the victim to connect back to us on. It's a bit like me saying to you, meet me at this house, at this door, which is the IP address and the port. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be waiting there at the entrance. We're gonna set up a listener, so we'll be ready. So I used Vi to edit this, but if you're stuck, just feel free to open with mouse pad and you can come in here and just change it like a normal text file. That's absolutely fine. I'm gonna change it using Vi. I'm gonna press I to go into insert mode and I'm gonna change it to be my IP address, which I actually don't know. 172.60.130. 172.60.130. And we'll connect on port one, two, three, four. Absolutely fine. Press escape, shift, ZZ, and we're back. Okay, I'm just gonna rename this to make it a little bit shorter. Move lets you rename things. So we'll move the PHP reverse shell to just be called shell.php. There we go. And if we go back here, we can put shell.php, upload it successfully. Now before we do anything else, what we need to do is we need to start a listener. Let's start netcat and we'll put it into listen mode. Don't worry about what all these flags means. We'll cover that in some other video. We are now listening on port one, two, three, four. And the way we trigger this is by just browsing to that web page. So if we go here, click webdav, we can see the PHP shell. And when I click it, boom. There it is, your initial foothold. You now have a shell on that machine. As you can see, we are www-data. That's our user account, and that's a low privileged user on this box. We're not root yet. What we need to do next is figure out how to escalate our privileges to become root or admin. But we'll cover that in a separate video. We've covered a lot in this video. Netcat listeners, reverse shells in PHP, editing PHP using Vi, setting up the locate database, and exploiting DAV. If you're new to hacking, I strongly recommend you go and play with Metasploitable 2 and get comfortable with some of the concepts we've covered here. I'll see you next time.